Hey guys, so I get all the magazines in the mail. Sometimes I have them rush delivered over here. And one of them that uh, just arrived right now is the December 2010 issue, issue number 59 of Scoot Magazine. I happen to be a proud owner of every Scoot Magazine ever issued. Uh, it's been coming out since uh, I was uh, starting college, and ever since then I've uh, collected these. And uh, there's nothing more awesome than opening up your favorite magazine, seeing all the new articles and everything that's happening. Uh, Josh and April have done a great job. So they got their rally reviews. They got some of these new features, which I really like, which are showing, showcasing people's scooters in this issue. I'm not going to give it all away. They have a digital version you can check out now. But a great article online to, that says, uh, Wild Goose Chase or Scavenger Hunt, Finding OEM Parts When Your Distributor Has Closed by the Scooter Maven. So it's a great article here. It talks about how you can use the MRP website to find all the parts for those brands that have closed. And since uh, we submitted this article, we've actually acquired a couple of companies. We bought all the United Motors parts in auction, uh, and that um, has all the parts uh, for the Hyosung scooters as well. So if you're having trouble finding Hyosung parts from Hyosung North America, we definitely have them. Uh, a couple of brands that were on there, like Dalim, we also have a lot of Dalim parts. So these are a lot of parts that you can't get anywhere else that we've um, added. So, uh, yeah, a lot of information on there, and uh, make sure to check out our website, mrp-com. And uh, mad props to the guys, because they also selected, after doing the PCX 125 review, which I thought was pretty cool, because it's the first magazine to mention the new Honda, they also showcase the outfit of the issue. Ooh. So, it's an armadillo parka, which I thought was really cool. It's a women's parka. And uh, I love the fact that they mentioned that it's in black or olive, and it's, uh, it's waterproof. It has the, the two-year guarantee, and uh, you can check it out there. They had some cool jeans and boots to match. So make sure to check out and pick up the new issue of Scoot Magazine. Add it to your collection. It's worthy of anybody's scooter collection. And if you don't have the last issue, make sure to get it from October 2010. Also still in the newsstands. I saw it the other day when I walked over my Barnes & Noble. So, uh, Scoot, December 2010, it's out now. Make sure to pick it up.